Are you ready for today's topic? Today, we will uncover the key distinction between Zoho people users and employees and shed light on how understanding these differences can optimize your HR management experience. Looking for more videos like this? Make sure to subscribe and ring that bell icon to stay updated. Before managing your organization employees' data in the system, first you need to add them. There are two types of employees in Zoho People, users and employee profiles, or non-users. Users are those employees who have access to the system. They can log into their account with email and password. Users can perform actions like apply for leave, add time locks, upload files, and have access to self-service module. To add a new user, go to Settings, Organization, Users, and click Add. You will be redirected to Zoho Admin Panel if you had purchased Zoho One subscription. Choose User from existing or create a new one. and specify other information like role, employee ID, location, designation, and department. Click Assign. Employee profiles are employees who cannot log into their accounts all details about them are maintained by organization. Only employees, manager or system admin can apply for a leave or add time lock on behalf of them. To add a new employee profile, go to Employee Profiles. And click Add. If you have other subscription than Zoho One, you will be suggested to fill in employee details. Otherwise, as in our case, additional add-on is required, which can be purchased and enabled by Zoho Support after you send an email. And that's a wrap on our discussion about the primary difference between Zoho People users and employees. We appreciate your continued support of our videos. Please continue liking and sharing our videos to your community. If you have concerns or queries, don't hesitate to contact us at knowhowatcustomerization.ca.